Welcome to The Fumble. I'm your host, Crystal Marie. I'm joined here with the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Couldn't get much better for you Fumble fans now, could it? I'm with the stars of CMT's Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders making the team. They're in their 10th season. Cat fights, hairspray, just a couple things to describe the show. Oh yes, and drop dead gorgeous women. Ladies, how do you move so well in this spandex? You know, this uniform is custom tailored to each and every girl, and it's got a lot more room than you'd think when we're moving. We feel really flattered in it. It's pretty flattering. It makes us feel good when we're dancing on the sidelines. Have your shorts or your tops ever gone missing? I can honestly say that my shorts have never gone missing. Has anyone's in the locker room ever gone missing? Well, our stars are removable, so sometimes people will come to a game and they're like, I'm missing a star, but... No other fellow cheerleaders grabbing your stuff and hiding it like if you get on their bad side? No. All right, what kind of cat fights are there back there? Um, I want to say that we're pretty, we're like a sisterhood. There's really? not really many cat fights unless it's like somebody took their teeth and brush or something. I, <laughs> very politically correct answer. Yeah. Now I put in every single clip in hair extension I, I could find in the entire universe today. Because it's go big or go home, right? Always. In addition to that, great. I have the best push-up bra ever made on. If you could give me any other tips on how to become the perfect Dallas Cowboy cheerleader without actually having to get sweaty, what would you tell me to do? We're definitely big on each girl looking her best. Right. So Important. sometimes like girls need shorter hair, they need longer hair, they need more lashes, or however you look your best is what our team wants you to look like. Well, so I already have most of it. You're it JC, what was the most challenging thing for you to do to become a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader? I think, so overall, Kelly and Judy, they look for well-rounded individuals. So you're not only a great dancer, you have to be able to speak. You have to be a great ambas ambassador for our organization. So trying to be that perfect mold is probably the most challenging thing. What about you, Holly? What was most challenging for you? We come into the room and at auditions, there's hundreds of girls, all beautiful, all great dancers. And you kind of have to find what makes you stand out. You know, everybody's different. Everybody kind of has their strong suit. So I think being confident in yourself is really a big challenge for everybody. What can we expect from season 10? There's, I think, a little bit more drama this season. There's maybe a few more cuts than we've traditionally made in the past. What? So it's a little I bit more difficult. I do not want to cry. It's going to make me cry. Now a lot goes into being a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. So to my left, I have the woman behind them all. Yes. Mr. Jones should be extremely happy with you because you've done a phenomenal job. Thank you. If he Jerry Jones, big... she deserves a raise, damn it. Come on, Jerry. <laughs> Inappropriate on my part, but now tell me what do you look for in a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader? We look for entertainers. We look for women who can be world-class performers and role models and ambassadors for the Dallas Cowboys. We have this really long audition process that uh, seeks out talent, personality, great interaction skills for media and um, our fans. Uh, Detroit Lions, they actually don't have a cheerleading squad, which makes me sad, especially after I've met your girls. How much of a difference do you think that these cheerleaders help make in the stadium for the players just revving everyone up? The cheerleaders absolutely are a major component of the game day experience for our fans. They are entertainment and you know the game of football. Every time a whistle is blown, there's a break in the game, there's music to be played, and the cheerleaders dance to that music. They yeah. dance to over 150 musical bits during a game. So they're a huge part of our game presentation. So you would recommend to the Detroit Lions, uh, I happen to be from Detroit, hey, maybe it would be a smart idea to get some cheerleaders to help you win some games, help you fill some seats. And make you the first honorary Detroit Lions cheerleader, don't yes, you think? Yes, like the MC for the cheerleaders, like, yeah, put your left foot in and shake it all around. You that know, could be called like the that. Crystals. Yeah, there you go. That is a beautiful name, <laughs> which also happens to be like the number one stripper name in America. but. <laughs> You can run with it. But thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure talking to you and your girls. And when the director is as beautiful as the women, you know Jerry Jones is doing it right, right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.